this is the foam that the kit came packed in. So when you unpack your kit, if you don't trash the foam, there's nothing to buy. The measure is about nine and a quarter inches wide. Wrapped it with foam, put some paper underneath the foam to make sure it was nice and soft, nice smooth surface. Turn the speaker upside down and place it on top of the foam. Now the speaker has to be picked up and moved and then set back down again to align the holes. Don't, I, I don't and didn't want to slide the speaker. I don't want any friction against the surrounds. I don't know that wouldn't be a good thing. In any event, this, this is how the setup is. The box is complete. The wires are connected. And I have a magnetic screwdriver and the painted screws waiting to be put in. Now with the nine and a quarter inch wide board, it leaves the two holes on each side of the speaker accessible. So I can pick the speaker box up and set it on top of the speaker And it's the same on the other side. The screws are painted black. Did it with a little bit of brush and some rust-oleum. When you the when you before you do this, you want to scuff up the surface of the zinc. Paint doesn't like to stick to a smooth surface, so scuff it up a little bit. It's not going to make a bit of a difference. And this way, the paint has a good bite, and anything that's it's less likely to chip up. And if any of the galvanized shows through after it's been installed with a screwdriver, may may be leaving some marks. It's easy enough to touch up after the fact. You didn't get to see the actual deed because I anticipated a lot of cussing, some obscene gestures and embarrassing moments. And indeed, I needed to get my reading glasses because my regular glasses were uh, doing me justice. I couldn't see up into the holes. I needed to get a little flashlight. But the alignment was, was spot on. Once I set the, the box over the driver, I could see the holes. Maybe the box had to be rotated about an eighth of an inch. Again, you don't turn the speaker, you lift the box up and give it a, a little bit of a turn and it, it worked out very, very well. And if I, ever I need to get back into it again, I know how to do it. Chances are I'm going to put that piece of wood with the foam aside down in the basement and just leave it there. Um, at least long enough that these have a bunch of miles on them and I know that everything is as it's supposed to be.